Prince Andrew proudly stepped into the role of supportive father to his younger daughter Princess Eugenie today. He walking her down the aisle to Jack Brooks Bank. It's a very small role, I just have to walk slowly. I haven't been the father of a bride so I don't know what to expect, but I'm looking forward to it, he said in an interview on British television earlier today. I'll have to walk on the left of the carpet to make sure that she can get enough room. That's a lesson I got from my wedding. My father-in-law walked down the middle so Sarah said get over to the other side. The Duke of York learned his lesson well and helped arrange the lengthy train of his daughter's dress before guiding her through St. George's Chapel. But he had another important role to play, this time at the reception at Windsor Castle. Following the ceremony and the couple's carriage ride through Windsor, the Queen hosted wedding guests for a daytime party at Windsor Castle. Wedding cake was served and family members gave speeches. According to Hello, Andrew gave a charming and funny speech that ranged from childhood stories to current events. He moved the crowd to tears, apparently, when he approached the groom in person. The one thing that made me cry was the Duke, the guest said, when he said he was going to do something he's never done before. He went over to his new son-in-law and hugged him. He isn't a very tactile person. Another reception guest also told Hello that Jack gave a touching speech as well in which he opened up about his feelings for his new bride. For a young man of 32 to be that open about his emotions was quite affecting, said Anthony Waller-Steiner, who has a connection to both the bride and the groom. He was Jack's headmaster at the Stowe School and is now chair of Street Child, the charity with which both the Duchess of York and her two daughters are heavily involved. He talked about how she is the one light of his life. She makes him complete and he can't imagine spending a day apart. Everyone cried, Eugenie's eyes went too. I mean she wasn't sobbing. It was just lovely, sweet, short and modern. At one point, excitement got the better of Jack and he got up on a chair, until a wedding guest reminded him he was in the Queen's house. Someone yelled over that he should get off the chair. So then he jumped back down again. Prince Andrew was born on February 19, 1960. At the time of his birth, he was second in line to the throne, behind his older brother, Prince Charles, but before his older sister Princess Anne. Now, he's seventh in the order of succession, and following the arrival of the new royal baby. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, better known by most as Fergie, Wed on July 23, 1986 at Westminster Abbey to much fanfare, but the relationship was not meant to last. They had two children together, Princess Beatrice, born in August of 1988, and Princess Eugenie, born in March of 1990, but eventually separated in 1992. They divorced in 1996, but remained very close. Please subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.